Hi, uh, I'm Noah Tadko. Um, again, um, I, this is Taco Teaches Python. Um, and I, I had made a previous video about um, uh, in, interpreted and uh, compiled languages, and it was totally wrong. It was before I knew much about programming. I was making videos more to teach programming than to explain what languages were. Uh, but now I'm a little bit more educated. I know a little bit more about um, how all that works. Uh, so here's, uh, I'll break it down for you. Um, early languages. Uh, there are many languages, and I can tell you all about each of them. Well, not all about each of them, because there are so many that I, I really don't even know all of them. There are like 300 some odd, maybe more. Uh, it's growing all the time. Uh, but anyway, they're, they basically factor into two different categories, right? There's compiled, and there's interpreted, right? They're two different sides of the programming coin. Um, so we started off with uh, interpreted languages. Um, this would be like basic. Basic and Python are two examples of um, interpreted languages, uh, where you go through line by line, any process and you do what is on each line of code individually. Um, so uh, for basic, you'd have, you know, if you want to do a loop, it's very tricky because you've got to go line, 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 and then come back up to the top. Um, very confusing um, to do, but doable. It, it is, and I, I can talk more about basic later. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Um, but anyway, that's what an interpreted language is. It goes through line by line and executes whatever it sees. Um, compiled languages, on the other, on the other hand, um, it takes all the code, right? You have all this chunk of code, right? It, and if you have a loop, it put basic conditions on it and it compiles it down into um, ones and zeros, right? Machine code, uh, so that it can be run directly. It creates an executable, uh, the .exe. Um, you know, you see all those all the time when you're, um, well, if you're a Windows guy, or a Windows person, sorry. Uh, and, uh, and then it executes it. Um, now, this is better for a lot of things. It's faster uh, when you compile it. It takes a bit to compile, but if you're going to be doing something many times, right, um, it's much easier to, um, it's, it's a better idea to compile it because then your running time is going to be much quicker because then it doesn't have to translate. Uh, from okay, let's do this line like an interpret an interpreted language. You have you do this this through this line of code, translate that into machine code, right? So the computer can process it, and then we go down here to this line, do the same thing, a bunch and a bunch and a bunch. So it's like you're doing all these mini compiles, mini compiles that, and that just takes a long time to do relatively if you're going to do something many many times. However, so that's that's compiled. However. If you're going to, um, if you're just prototyping a, a sort of a process, right, and you're making a lot of changes in the code and you want to run it quickly, with, and if it's a big code and you don't want to have to pro co properly compile it every single time, um, in that case, a language like Python or Basic might be exactly what you want, um, where it goes line by line and processes each line at a time so that, you know, once it goes past a bit of code you're doing, you're like, okay, we're good now, we can stop. Uh, it works. Now we can really compile it. Um, so Python specifically is, it's a combination of the two. It's usually interpreted, um, and a lot of times if you say run module, uh, like you will, um, as, as I'm going to teach you how to do in a couple of videos, uh, if you say run module, then it goes line by line by line by line by line. But you can, you can compile it. It has that ability. Um, well, that's one of the things that I really think is great about Python, um, is that it it's good for quick on the fly stuff. You're making a lot of changes. You don't know what you're doing. It's messy. It's dirty. You can do all this stuff um, quickly. Um, it does line by line. It will tell you exactly where it goes wrong. Um, that's so in debugging, right? You're going to do a lot of debugging if you're programming, right? You're going to make errors. You're going to make. There're going to be problems that you're going to have. Um, and while you're, if you're doing an interpreted langu language, right, where it goes line by line. The computer's not going to know there's an error 10 lines in advance, right? It's going to go and process through until it hits the error. And then it's going to be like, oh no, there's an error. Um, but in a compiled language, it looks at all the code, all of it, like the whole thing. Um, and then it's like, well, yeah, line 42 has an error. And, you know, you're, you're still looking at line 3, and you want to see if line 3 works. Well, you won't know until all the rest of the code looks fantastic um, and has proper... Uh, semicolons and quotes and you know this proper syntax in general um, and the proper functions and you know proper outputs if you're doing functions um, if, if you're making your own functions you've got to have the proper out output you know um, so yeah um, that's 
that is, uh, that's, those are some of the differences between interpreted and compiled language. There are more, obviously, uh, but that's kind of beyond the scope of this uh, video. Thanks for watching.